put u istoriji Finske dogodila se pucnjeva u školi. Bilo je to 1989. godine, kada je 14-godišnji dečak upucao dvoje svojih školskih drugara. Mediji su tada izveštavali da je dečak prethodno bio žrtva vršnjačkog nasilja. And I think that's what really had brought bullying on the agenda and it was there was a lot of concern. Ali su i norme u finskom društvu tada bile drugačije. Yeah, there was <laughs> lot of fighting and, and mocking and making fun names of you and like how we solved them. Well, we solved them after school. Then uh, bullying was considered more normal than today. And uh, uh, it was parents' responsibility to take uh, care of the bullying cases. So teachers uh, just teach, mostly. And it was uh, uh, at home that all the rules were taught. If there was a bullying case, Maybe then there was discussion, but yeah, there was no preventive, preventive um, actions taken and no, no discussion about emotions. There was no talking about bullying. I think it, it was um, like, well, it's normal when there are children. They are doing sometimes bad things for each other. It was, um, we, we didn't understand um, how harmful it can be for the rest of child's life if there is bullying. A onda se finskom društvu dogodio novi šok. U samo godinu dana, 2007. i 2008. u dvema školama ubijeno je 18 ljudi i ranjeno 23. Ubice su imale 18 i 22 godine. Unfortunately, it seems that it's very often the case that something really sad happens and then some action is taken after that. Iva comes from kiusaamista vastaan. Kiusaamista vastaava. Kiusaamista vastaan. Kiusaamisvapaa. It means nice and fun. Like good or like happy. And it's basically just like to be nice to everybody. But when I searched it up, because I was interested in what does it really mean, and uh, it showed up that it is against the bullying. It uh, means that we don't support bullying in our school and everyone should be safe. Pre sada više od 15 godina sa Univerziteta u gradu Turku na jugozapadu Finske potekao je Kiva program protiv vršnjačkog nasilja. Njegova kreatorka, profesorka Kristina Salmivali, kaže da su u njegovoj osnovi tri elementa: prevencija, intervencija i stalni monitoring. The schools really wanted it. They really asked for it because it was not told by the ministry to all schools that you must implement this program, but it was really voluntary for schools. And we had online registration where schools were able to announce that they are willing to start implementing the program. And we had to close down the online registration because so many schools wanted to start immediately that we were not able to do all this training. So that's how some of the schools had to be on a waiting list for one year uh, before uh, they could come along. So they really, really, really wanted it. Vieläkö sulle tulee mieleen niistä tunteista muuta, että mitä se kiusaaminen herättää? Eli mitkä niistä tunteista vois liittyä siihen kiusaamistilanteeseen? Ota vaan sieltä. Joo. Nyt Aston sieltä valitsi sen, mikä tää, tavallaan tämä tunnetila oli. Pelko. Mitä muuta? Suru. Suru. Ja viha. Ujous. Tuleeko vielä mieleen muuta? Kyllä. Eli Kiusaaminen saattaa myös sitten aiheuttaa niitä häpeän tunteita. Miksi minä juuri olen joutunut kiusatuksi? 
Škole su konačno imale nešto konkretno što mogu da koriste. I što je najvažnije, da je to nešto što nije jednokratan ili kratkoročan projekat, već je sastavni deo kurikuluma koji traje. Prilagođava se vremenu, društvenim promenama i okolnostima, ali traje. Grade 1 is quite intensified give a program year and then grade 2 as well and then in our school and then on grade 3 we revise what was done on grades 1 and 2 and then uh, 4 and 5 are intense again and 6 is revision and also in the secondary school 7 and 8 more intensified and 9 uh, revision. U praksi to znači da dete do punoletstva uči kako se bori i nosi sa vršnjačkim nasiljem, kako se obhodi prema drugima, uči o empatiji, o svojim i tuđim osjećanjima. I often compare it to a vacuum cleaner or Hoover, you know. You have to use it every systematically every week or more often otherwise your house uh, will not be clean no matter how effective vacuum cleaner you have in your closet. Svi koji se bave Kiva programom koriste ujednačene i vremenoj kulturi prilagođene materijale. Pa tako postoje uputstva, lekcije, knjige, video igrice, testovi i različiti video klipovi kako za decu, tako i za nastavnike i roditelje. Often in those Kiva lessons we have like role play things where where we try to think about how others feel and how should we act in the situation constructively rather than starting to arguing or blaming others. I saw like one child that was bullied and I said to the bully to stop. I've had one situation where my friend was being bullied so I had to go and uh, take him out of the situation and then I like talked to him about what happened and everything. Pitäis kertoa aikuiselle tai muuten jotenkin puuttuu kiusaamiseen sanoa kiusaajalle, että niin ei saa tehdä tai niin. If they harass you like and they will not stop, you're allowed to call the cops. Which is something I nearly did. But hopefully never has to happen. And other thing is don't take part in bullying. And also like if there is like another kid who is being bullied, stand by his side and say, stop, don't bully it. Also, if you're the kid being bullied, you also have to like uh, stand, stay strong, uh, stand your ground and say, no, stop it. Uobičajno, prve osobe kojima se deca obraćaju su njihovi učitelji, sa kojima su deca u Finskoj zaključno sa šestim razredom, a oni potom o slučaju obaveštavaju školski Kiva tim. We always do the same things. When class teacher informs us, Kiva team, and then we meet the weak team at first. And we hear what has happened, what is the situation, uh, how was the uh, weak team treated. And then after that we meet the pupil who has bullied. And then he or she uh, promises uh, to do something nice for the victim. And then we have pause, it's about two or three weeks, and then we meet them again. Sometimes we need to uh, meet them several times, but we don't stop. <laughs> and we meet them again and again. There is also some cases that uh, it's not enough that Kiva team is working with the children. Then we have a school social worker who uh, also helps us. No, Kiva team doesn't give any punishments. Yeah, But of course, class teacher has the rules for the class and there is punishment if you bully others. We think that that's the most important thing that uh, the one who is bullying understands that it's wrong and uh, we don't punish. We just want to see if he or she can change his or her uh, behavior. And that's the main thing. Kysymys on mistä sinä tiedät että on kyse kiusaamisesta. No, että jos vaikka sitä on äh, nähty jatkuvasti, niin sitä samaa kiusaamista samalle tyypille. Sen tietää siitä, että sillä on paha mieli. No sen tietää siitä, että jos siinä on vaikka yksi ihminen, äh, joka sitten 
Ja sitten siinä on se toinen ihminen, jota se kiusaa, ja niin sitten joskus on vielä kannustamassa sitä toista, joka yrittää kiusata sitä toista kiusattua. Ärsyttää ja se, ei, se, 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 se näyttää siitä, että sillä olisi sellainen olo, että se ei enää haluaisikin tulla kouluun. Se, että jos se sanoo toiselle, että lopeta ja ne toiset ei lopeta. Osim u redkim i ekstremnim slučajevima, Kiva program protiv vršničkog nasilja podrazumeva da su roditelji samo pismeno informisana strana. I to ne na samom početku procesa, već kada se neki rezultat postigao. They don't come to school, uh, they are not in the process or in the meetings. Because the whole, whole idea is that uh, the pupils have to understand what they have done and take responsibility. Because we want that children themselves uh, change their behavior and then we can um, tell to uh, parents that yes your child has uh, has um, bullied but he has he or she has changed his behavior Roditelji su se u početku bunili ali su vremenom uglavnom prihvatili svoju ulogu In my personal opinion I would say that it would be good if the parents would be in the solving situation as well because then the parents see if they don't know how to solve these kind of things then they have the support from school support from teacher and then they have uh, solved that kind of problem as together what would you do if your child come home and said uh, i had problems in school i would ask him uh, what kind of problems then i would be contacting the teacher and uh, if he's on the his same classmate in the same class then I would contact the person's parents as well and let them know this thing about as well so you think you should call the parents as well, well I'm the parent of my kids so I have to put the things forward so that's why I I don't teachers have many things to do and if they could be missing these kind of things and if my my kid feels bad about something what happens school of course i have to talk about it with the teacher and kid and so on i was bullied uh, a little bit uh, in first and second grade then what, you, what did you do? Well, I tell my mom and my mom um, message my principal and yeah. Sometimes when the teacher goes outside of the room, there's some bullying there, but then usually it's like during the recess break. One of them was something that was just bullying for fun, and then the other one was a bit more serious, but I'm not going to go into details. Like uh, in saying some bad word, bad words to me or kind of like, uh, yeah, basically saying bad words to me. They stole her pencils and uh, they made her like cry and all the girls were being so mean to her. Po pravilu da bi nešto bilo karakterisano kao nasilje, mora da traje, da se ponavlja i da se jasno vidi ko je žrtva, a ko nasilnik. Well, I remember one, one teacher told me that this is very simple, you saw it from their face. <laughs> so, I mean, of course there can be teasing and there can be, you know, friends, for instance. In a group of friends, people can tease each other and, and today I say something funny and we all laugh about you and tomorrow you say something funny about me and we all laugh. But it's very different, I mean, the power dynamics because in bullying there is clearly someone who is suffering and who is always the one who is put down. The power differential can come, for instance, from the fact that there are more bullies towards one uh, victimized student, or that the, the bullies are older or physically stronger, or, or things like that. Somehow there is a power imbalance between the bully and the victimized child. Rarely we have uh, uh, simply a black and white situation here because there are pupils who want to irritate each other on purpose. 
And that's why we want to meet them both and have a co- good conversation, what has happened and what they both can do better. And then, as I said before, there are those bosses who want power in the class and they want to influence uh, other pupils. And then then really there are very uh, highly sensitive persons and they react quite uh, strongly to situations, and they get easily bullied. Osim na žrtvu i na nasilnika, Kiva program dodatnu pažnju obraća na posmatrače, takozvane neme odobravaoce. No siis ne on hiljaset hyväksyjät, ja niiden rooli myös tosi tärkeä, että niiden pitäisi kertoa, mutta aika usein ne vaan istuu ja katsoo, eikä tee sille mitään. If there's just a bully and, and then the the person that's been bullied, then for se the bully could lie about it and it's not 100 percent sure. But if there's a bystander, they could definitely help in case of the um, person who's being bullied. They should uh, to tell the teachers and not just watch but and do something about the Very often bystanders are in a way part of the problem. You know, when when someone is bullying another child, there are usually others present. And very often these others, even though they don't approve of bullying, if you ask them in private, they still often go along or they may be laughing when someone is being ridiculed or they provide some signals to the bullies, you know, that are showing that, that this is funny or this is okay. And we really teach the children that there are different roles and that everybody who knows about bullying is involved in the case. So even if you, if you don't do anything about it, it means that you're accepting it and that cannot be happening. And if they together decide that we don't want this to happen in our school, uh, that's much, uh, then the chances of reducing bullying successfully is much higher than just adults telling kids that you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. But really the, the disapproval from peers is, uh, can be very, have a very strong impact. Uspešnost rada Kiva tima meri se na godišnjem nivou ispitivanjem učenika, roditelja i nastavnika, a istraživanje sprovodi Finek, nezavisno telo koje prati uspešnost obrazovnog sistema u Finskoj. Njihovi podaci za prošlu godinu kažu da se više od polovine ispitanika osjećalo osnaženo u grupi prešnjaka, a preko 70% misli da je program sprečio slučajeve nasilja. So in our school, I, don't, I haven't really seen bullying like outside or anything because we have give up team here the benefits are the definitely like if you need if you need help from bullying you should definitely go to give up because you'll definitely sort it out it'll help people that might, might be bullied or are bullying uh, to realize that i should do this or i should not do this you can uh, learn how to defend your friends and yourself and other people The good side of it is it actually uh, affects on the whole group and the group spirit and it kind of builds up for anti-bullying, so preventing bullying before it even happens to make the social connection stronger between the children and that everybody would feel safe and comfortable in the class. And then for teachers' point of view, uh, the materials and activities that are ready-made are really good and they go along with our curriculum very well. You can actually see that the, that bullying and victimization goes down already after first year of, of the implementation. Not only reductions in bullying and victimization, but also increases in school liking, uh, less social anxiety among students, uh, better peer climate, you know, overall. So there were very many positive effects and we have reported them for more than 10 years in scientific journals now. Kiva program je razvijen i skrojen u Finskoj spram potreba finskog društva, kulture i obrazovnog sistema. 
Međutim, kako kaže njegova kreatorka, deca su svuda deca. Nasilje među njima je gotovo isto i mehanizmi koji stoji za njega također su vrlo slični. Zato je Kiva program moguće primeniti i van Finske, pa je tako vremenom sastavni deo kurikuluma u školama u oko 20 zemalja širom sveta. So we know that it, for instance, um, works, works well in, in Estonia, uh, in, in Italy and in other cultural settings as well. So there are certain, like the core of Kiva seems to work. Uh, in 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 different cultures but of course there there are local things that you need to take into into account like legislation for instance uh, if by law the schools need to do something so obviously then then the schools need to follow that but the core of the program the bullying phenomenon as such is is, is the same globally well sometimes individual schools contact us and they say we would like to have this program and in that case we always have to say that unfortunately it's not possible. We want that there is a partner organization in the country. So there should be an organization which is resourceful enough or big enough or strong enough uh, to support the schools that start implementing the program because we want that there is there are some people who are ready to respond to questions, to help the schools, to train the school personnel and so on. To mogu da budu ljudi iz ministarstava ili sekretarijata, ali ne vladinog sektora, sa univerziteta ili privatnih kompanija. Te organizacije šalju ljude na obuku u Finsku i kada postanu sertifikovani treneri, mogu da počnu da uspostavljaju program u školama sa materijalima za čake, nastavnike i roditelje, prilagođene lokalnoj kulturi i mentalitetu. Pilot projekat se obično radi u minimum 10 škola i računa se da pripreme traju oko godinu dana. And why do you think uh, uh, some students bully others? Uh, sometimes it's for like popularity and sometimes it's even for like uh, like money. Like sometimes they bully like if you don't give me money then I'm going to bully you or something. I think it's because because mm, when they bullied once and then that person started crying or like felt sad about it, then they just started doing it. It's like their hobby at school. Mainly because uh, probably they are jealous of them because they have like uh, uh, they have things and also they can be better uh, sometimes uh, than them. For example, I've been said like, oh my God, what is this thing here? Like this, I wear it's like Indian culture. Sometimes people bully about their cultures, and that's not a good thing to do. Most of the time, bullying happens because uh, there's something in the bully's life that's sad. So it's not always the bully's fault. Children are so different from each other. Some pupils, um, they don't, uh, something happens, they don't feel at all this is bullying. But then there are more sensitive pupils who uh, feel easily bullied. And it's important that um, pupils understand that um, you have to uh, you have to see that there are so different persons in classroom and you can't do same things with everybody No hyvä mielen lahja siellä puhutaan niistä hyvän mielen lahjoista mitä tarkoitetaan hyvän mielen lahjalla mikä on hyvän mielen lahja säkin saat nyt kotitehtäväksi tänään hyvän mielen lahjan antamisen jollekin. Mitä se tarkoittaa se hyvän mielen lahjan antaminen? Kuka muistaa? No vaikka eh, sanomalla sille moi ja hei ja antaa halin ja sanoa heippa sitten kun lähtee. Okei. Okay. Voi kannustaa ja tsempata sitä. Yes, kannustaa ja tsempata. And how do you think that the children should treat each other? I think it's kind of like the golden rule. People should treat each other how they would like to be treated and like think before they do something. No one should be afraid to come to school and everyone should be safe at school and not be scared of anything. Kaikki pitäisi kohdata samalla tavalla, eli ei saa kiusata ja pitää arvostaa muiden mielipiteet. I think everyone should be nice to each other no matter what their race or um, race or language or everyone should just be nice to each other. It's a school to study, not 
bullying. And even if you bully, it's like a really, really bad thing to do. Let's try not to bully anybody. We are all, all saying we are all equal. Like, not to be like if there's somebody who has special needs that, hey, don't pick up this this uh, person that it's it's not okay that's we are all the same we are same kids we are on the same line that it's not okay to to mock somebody who's like a little bit different like than you but i think now it's it's um it's a bit more difficult to to uh, uh to recognize because it might happen also outside the school hours online in whatsapp in whatever social media they are using but of course, when it affects the school, of course, it's our business to make sure that the children are safe. It's so so easy nowadays to spread like something incorrect message about the kids or some stupid videos or pictures or like it's it's I would say it's bad effect to to have this kind of social media for so younger young young kids. And it's basically impossible to watch out because those kids are smarter than, than us, <laughs> which is unfortunate. In our school, there are uh, papers where children can uh, go by um, QR code to uh, Someturva and tell about bullying that's happening in internet, for example. and. Um, they can do that anonymously. Pred izazovima interneta i cyberbullinga zadatak Kiva tima je da program i lekcije prilagođavaju i nastave da traju i nadamo se primenjuju i dalje po svetu. Jer kada pričate sa fincima neće vam reći da su najsrećniji narod na svetu, ali da su ponosni na svoju bezbednost. But of course, how much work we do, there is always bullying because of there are children and they have to learn how to behave with other other pupils. Um, and I think Kiva work is good because we try to um, we try to help children to understand things they can't do when they are with other people. Yeah. They have to learn it. They don't know it by themselves. They are like seriously taking this things like they are not just gonna put it aside so they are like seriously focusing that hey this this is not okay that we have to have to talk about this and like make sure that this doesn't have happen again so do you feel that your child is uh, much safer today in school yeah. or when you were 100% sure